Hey there, so in today's video I will show you how to reduce or remove the stars from your images. Okay, so if you ever tried to do a starless image, you probably already know uh, how difficult that can be. Uh, especially the small stars can give you the biggest problems. But uh, I'm going to show you a technique that works uh, really well and it's from Ross Croman. And uh, to put the cherry on top, uh, a great guy called Bob Frankie <laughs> made an action based on that technique and it's uh, free to download from uh, his uh, website. So yeah, let's take a look how this works. Okay, so I'm going to go over installing the action uh, really quickly. But all we need to do is to click here to download. Go to your download folder. And let's extract it. Let's go into the folder and just copy this. Oh, and make sure that you have uh, Photoshop closed uh, at this moment. Now just go to the folder where you got uh, Photoshop installed. So for me that is computer, the C disk, go to program files, Adobe, find Photoshop, go to presets and actions. Here you just have to paste it in, but I already have it, so I won't do that. Now I'm just going to hit X. Now we can minimize that and you can open Photoshop again. Let's go to actions. Now if you can't see this button, just go to windows, find actions and select that. Let's enter actions again, go to the side menu, hit load actions. Now select the action, we just copy it and hit load. But again, I'm not going to do that because I already have it. Now your action will be loaded here. And what I like about this action is that it lets you to select uh, the stars from the RGB image or in the grayscale. But I'm going to work on the H alpha from the Heart Nebula. And uh, this is a project uh, I'm currently working on. But okay, now let's just duplicate the layer. Make sure that the top layer is selected and the action you want to apply to it and just hit play. Let me minimize that. And I don't know if you can see that, but uh, this action uh, pretty much really selects uh, all of the stars and this can be used in various different uh, applications. But uh, I'm not going to mix the processing uh, videos. So I will let you experiment because uh, I just want to show you how to get uh, rid of the stars. So the issue you usually get by selecting the bright parts uh, of the image uh, which is represented by the stars in most cases uh, is that the faint stars that are hidden in uh, the midtones are not easy to select but uh, this action uh, does a great job by selecting uh, even those so if we do the star reduction now first let me expand the selection a bit by select modify and expand let's set this to 8 pixels hit ok now let's just feather it a bit so select modify and feather 4 yeah 4 is fine Hit OK, Control H to hide the selection, filter, other, and minimum, let's say 1.5, hit OK. You will see that uh, all of the stars were uh, evenly reduced and uh, that will give you a much more uh, natural look. And I prepared here to make an example. So here I will make the standard uh, highlight selection. Let me duplicate that, select, color range. And highlights. I will try not to select uh, too much of the nebula. So I think I will leave it like that. Hit OK. And you can see that even now uh, some of the nebula was uh, selected. So I have to deselect that first. And I will make this really quickly here. Now let's go select. Modify and expand, 8, select, modify and feather, control H to hide the selection, filter, other, minimum, let's increase the radius for let's say 2 pixels, hit OK, and let's take a look at the difference, you can clearly see that the stars in uh, the midtones were basically untouched. Only the really bright stars uh, are reduced. And uh, this might work in many cases, but uh, like I said, uh, this will give you a lot more uh, natural look. Now to get completely rid of the stars, let me make the selection again. Duplicate the layer. 
minimize that, select, modify and expand, okay, select, modify and feather, hit OK, Control H to hide the selection, now we just need to go to edit, fill, leave it to content to wear, hit OK, And if you get a result like this, uh, just uh, expand the selection for a few pixels and uh, run the content to wear again. So select, modify and expand. So let's say 3 pixels, hit OK. Control H to hide, edit, fill, content to wear. And if you still see some star residue at this point, uh, I would recommend you to use the spot healing brush tool and just uh, remove them manually. Oh, and make sure that you deselect first. And when you're done, let me zoom in a bit. You can see that where the stars were removed, uh, we lost uh, just a bit of detail. So for example, if you look at this part, and we can fix this by duplicating the bottom layer put it on top and set the blending mode to darken so this will bring back uh, most of the detail and that's basically the result you get okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any questions uh, just uh, let me know in the comments but i would like to thank you for watching and i'll see you again next time take care bye